Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Prayer. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations, and in every place incense shall be offered to my name, and a pure offering for my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen and Alleluia. The Lord has shown forth his glory. Come, let us adore him. And now together, the Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, and give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The Lord has shown forth his glory, come let us adore him. Our first appointed psalm this morning is Psalm 16, and we shall read it in unison. Protect me, O God, for I take refuge in you. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, my good above all other. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble among the people. But those who run after other gods shall have their troubles multiplied. Their libations of blood I will not offer, nor take the names of their gods upon my lips. O Lord, you are my portion and my cup. It is you who uphold my lot. My boundaries enclose a pleasant land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. My heart, therefore, is glad and my spirit rejoices. My body also shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon me to the grave, nor let your Holy One see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 17. Hear my plea of innocence, O Lord. Give heed to my cry. Listen to my prayer, which does not come from lying lips. Let my vindication come forth from your presence. Let your eyes be fixed on justice. Weigh my heart. Summon me by night. Melt me down. You will find no impurity in me. I give no offense with my mouth as others do. I have heeded the words of your lips. My footsteps hold fast to the ways of your law. In your paths, my feet shall not stumble. I will call upon you, O God, for you will answer me. Incline your ear to me and hear my words. Show me your marvelous love and kindness, O Savior of those who take refuge at your right hand from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings from the wicked who assault me, from my deadly enemies who surround me. They have closed their hearts to pity, and their mouth speaks proud things. They press me hard, now they surround me, watching how they may cast me to the ground. Like a lion, greedy for its prey, and like a young lion, lurking in the secret places. Arise, O Lord, confront them and bring them down. Deliver me from the wicked by your sword. Deliver me, O Lord, by your hand, from those whose portion in life is this world whose bellies you fill with your treasure, who are well supplied with children and leave their wealth to their little ones. But at my vindication, I shall see your face. When I awake, I shall be satisfied beholding your likeness. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. <clears throat> Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth, and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says God, the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, 
who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name, my glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Sing to the Lord a new song his praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the coastlands and their inhabitants. Let the desert and its towns lift up their voice. The villages that Keter inhabits, let the inhabitants of Selah sing for joy. Let them shout from the tops of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and declare his praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a soldier, like a warrior. He stirs up his fury. He cries out. He shouts aloud. He shows himself mighty against his foes. For a long time I have held my peace. I have kept still and restrained myself. Now I will cry out like a woman in labor. I will gasp and pant. I will lay waste mountains and hills and dry up all their herbage. I will turn the rivers into islands and dry up the pools. I will lead the blind by a road they did not know. By paths they have not known, I will guide them. I will turn the darkness before them into light, the rough places into level ground. These are the things I will do, and I will not forsake them. They shall be turned back and utterly be put to shame. Those who trust in carved images, who say to cast images, you are our gods. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle is Canticle 10, the second song of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts, and let them turn to the Lord, and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor my ways your ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating. So is my mouth that goes forth, my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that for which I purposed it and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Mark's Gospel. Jesus went out again beside the lake. The whole crowd gathered around him, and he taught them. And then as he was walking along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax booth. And he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. And as he sat at dinner in Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were also sitting with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. When the scribes of the Pharisees saw that he was eating with sinners and tax collectors, they said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard this, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. Now John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting, and the people came and said to him, Why do John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, the wedding guests cannot fast while the bridegroom is with them, can they? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old cloak. Otherwise, the patch pulls away from it, the new from the old, and the worst tear is made. And no one puts new wine into old wine skins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and the wine is lost, and so are the skins. But one puts new wine into fresh wine skins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dignuses. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, 
For with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us profess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Father in heaven, who at the baptized, baptism of Jesus in the river Jordan proclaimed him your beloved Son and anointed him with the Holy Spirit, grant that all who are baptized into his name may keep the covenant they have made and boldly confess him as Lord and Savior, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Collect for Fridays. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went up not to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for the mission of the church. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name, amen. Let us now bring our own needs and intentions and intercessions before the Lord and ask for his indulgence, his mercy, and in many cases, his forgiveness. Remember us, O Lord, when we come into your kingdom as we move through the world. Show the world you move through us. Keep us faithful to your teachings and never let us be parted from you. Amen. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you again for joining us for the Daily Office. We'll see you tomorrow morning. God bless you. Remember to leave the world a better place this evening than you found it this morning.